Yo, what is good, all my gamers out there? It's that one and only X Fighter and Beast, and today you guys are watching some of that Crisis 2 Team Deathmatch. Now, on this video, guys, I'm pretty much going to be talking about a game that, well, I haven't really touched up on in a while, and that is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yeah, of course, and all the here comes the other Call of Duty, and you're probably like, I'm not buying that shit. It's just a cookie cutter shooter, you know, copy and paste year after year. But on this video, guys, we're going to be talking about what I think it should do to try to keep the gameplay fresh now i figured that crisis 2 would be the perfect game to talk over this um talk over this video because well it's gonna go to my point which is i think that call of duty advanced warfare should really revolve gameplay around the nano suit and not just let it be a gimmick for a single player you know just kind of like how rally was on call of duty goes for a single player how you know they kind of had the focus on the dog i think they should really make the nano suit or excuse me the exoskeleton i'm not really sure what they're calling it on call of duty advanced warfare but i think they should really make the gameplay revolve around there you know multiplayer of course it's going to be on single player but multiplayer i think they should really put a big focus on it kind of like how crisis 2 and 3 and i believe crisis 1 did as well i haven't got a chance to play crisis 1 yet but i'm actually going to play that here soon too because it was this theme cell where they have both Crisis 1 and Crisis 2 on sale, so I'm going to be playing that here soon. But anyways, get back on topic. Oh, I think that's one of the things that they should do, because let's face it. Call of Duty as a series, although you may or may not like it, it's getting pretty stale. I think that we can all agree that, you know, Call of Duty is getting stale, like a stinky fucking shoe. And people are just kind of getting tired of the smell. I mean... Of course, you still have your loyal friends, but even some of them are kind of like, uh, you know, this game is kind of getting a little bit boring. And Call of Duty Ghosts' numbers reflect that. I mean, not to say that it's so bad. I'm not trying to hate or take anything away from that game, but the numbers reflect that. I believe it was said that the that Call of Duty Ghosts didn't sell as nearly as well as the other Call of Duty games did. And, I mean, that's just really because of that call of duty fatigue right now people are kind of getting tired of this game and i know some people are going to argue that it's because triart didn't make the game but even if Triarch made the game i think there's still very much a call of duty fatigue going on right now and they just need to do a little bit of something something to change up the game and i think really focusing on the exoskeleton suits will really um change up the game a little bit while still keeping that call of duty feel because obviously you don't want to play a call of duty game feeling like it's completely crisis or feeling like it's battlefield or something like that you want to play call of duty for call of duty but at the same time they can still change up the gameplay a little bit to where it feels like something fresh and if crisis can pull it off then i'm sure advanced warfare could too because obviously if you play crisis multiplayer um crisis 2 and 3 this game feels like Call of Duty while even trying to feel like Call of Duty. And I know I've probably been pissed off a few hardcore Crisis fans, but let's face it, this game feels like Call of Duty. And you can even argue that it kind of looks like it. Now, of course, it has its own little mechanics that make it um, stray away from Call of Duty, like knowing when to activate cloak and armor at the right time in order to survive, and knowing when to jump or jump and shoot, and all stuff like that. You know, and of course, it's not just a Call of Duty clone per se, but it feels like Call of Duty. So I know that if Crisis can do it, then damn sure fucking Advanced Warfare can like involve the um, exoskeleton suits greatly in gameplay while still feeling like call of duty because i want to be able to sit there and super jump you know and maybe even activate armor depending what they add um they add to the game because i know that um cloaking is said to be in advanced warfare and i'm not sure if it's multiplayer hopefully it's not i'm not too big of a fan of cloaking when it comes to multiplayer because it's usually not a lot of things to cloak um to counteract it i'm about to say cloak it but there's not really a lot of things to counteract it and you don't want to give campers more tools they already have enough tools damn it so you know it's just nothing worse than getting killed by somebody camping in a corner with um you know their cloaking on that shit just bites but i mean it is what it is if it's on the game then it is but the whole point is is that um they should really revolve this around their multiplayer you know have like these different perks that allow you to do different things like be able to super jump and amongst other things that you would expect from a nano suit i mean of course nothing too crazy like scaling walls and stuff so people can just camp on rooftops but you guys get what i'm saying i think that would be something that would really um 
just change up the gameplay a little bit just to make it feel fresh because we need something different. I mean, damn. How many years has it been since we've been getting the same cookie cutter, you know, copy and paste shooter? I mean, shit. And I know I've been playing this game since Modern Warfare 2. I mean, I played Call of Duty 4, obviously. But by the time I started getting online, that's when Modern Warfare 2 was already out. So I've been playing Call of Duty for a while. I even played some of the first few ones, like Call of Duty 2 and 3 and stuff. And you know, after a while, it's just like, damn, we kind of need something to change up the gameplay. Because it's just the same shit, just different gimmicks. And I know that the Echo Skeleton can be considered a gimmick. But if they really, really make that push to revolve like, the suit around um, the multiplayer. So you can be able to do like unhuman-like things like you know, a normal human wouldn't really be able to do that I think that can make the game just a little bit more fresh and it won't change up the gameplay that much so you can still feel like you're playing Call of Duty also one thing I would like to add is for the love of God Sledgehammer please treat the PC port with care I mean damn the PC port for Ghost was just horrible and that's why you only have about a thousand players playing that thing and sometimes most of the time a few hundred players so I mean, please treat the PC port with care. I mean, that's not asking for too much, is it? I mean, damn, people spend $60 for a game that they expect to work, and when you just give them shit, it's like, it makes us not want to give you shit. So please treat the PC port with care. And also, one last thing, please, for the love of God, give us some real dedicated servers. Unlike that whole Call of Duty Ghost hybrid dedicated server stuff, no. Give us some real legit dedicated servers. Activision, you got the money. Don't be stingy. Just give us some dedicated servers. I don't think we're asking for too much. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and let me know how you feel about the topic at hand. I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace.